Just a song. Check. One, two. Test. Check. Check. Turn it up, please. Hey, listen. That's, that's what I like right there. Check. One, two. Test. 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 Check. Check. You good there? It should be on two or three. Check, check. Check, one, two. Check, one, two.
When Dave Good afternoon. <laughs> it's really good to see everyone this afternoon for a ribbon cutting ceremony. We're very excited about this. We want to just say a few uh, uh, welcomes, most importantly to our family and friends who are here. We're glad you're here. I know there's people from all over. We're really excited that you're here. Our own church family, we're glad you're here. In the midst of that, we also want to make a few special uh, rec uh, recognitions also, we just we have uh, Glenn Egan here in front, who's our county commissioner. We're glad to have you here, Glenn. <laughs> Dan Williams has been the project superintendent here at the uh, from Brown Construction, and he's been with us all the way, and he's going to be with us a little while longer. So we're glad to have Dan here. <laughs> and then our community's trustees, we have Dave Milton. And Tim Emerson here, over here, and the, they're here. So, hello, guys. We're glad you're here. So, I'm going to turn it over to Dave, and he's going to open us in a word of prayer, and then we're going to move on, move forward. If everybody just bow their heads, go ahead and stay seated where you're at. You don't need to stand. Let's just pray together. Father, today we come before you as a church family and then friends of our family from a variety of places, God, to thank you and honor you for what you have done here, God. This work that you began 24 years ago, God, that you're continuing to move and 
build and do things here in Northeast Missouri through this church and this ministry. Father, we thank you for that. We know that even before the, the foundations of the earth, you saw this moment. And God, you, you sovereignly uh, designed it and planned for this. And so, Lord, we just thank you for allowing us to play a part and be a part. Lord, we worship you and glorify you. And Father, we thank you for this new meeting place, this new gathering place, this new sanctuary, God, that we're going to open up today. We know, Lord, that you have designed such a building, Lord, for your people to meet in, to worship you and to learn and grow in your word. God, so we thank you for this meeting place and this gathering place. We thank you that it will be for decades, Lord, a place where your people gather together to fellowship and love on you and love one another. God, we thank you for this gathering place and this meeting place, Lord God, that your people will gather in and others will come from around the counties and, and the area and the, the United States, Lord, to get help, Lord, the, the broken and the wounded, Lord God, and that this will be a place where they meet with you, God, and surrender their lives to you and, and get healed by you, Jesus. We thank you for such a building as this. We thank you for a building and a gathering place, Lord, that children who are orphans, children who need help, Lord God, from around this area in the United States and even internationally, God, that could come and find a home and find a family and more importantly, find you, Jesus. We ask that, God. We thank you for that, God. We thank you for the, the weddings that will occur in this place, God. We thank you for the, the births and the, Lord Jesus, the, the water baptisms and the, the, Lord God, the baby dedication. Over, over the decades, God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for how you have designed this building, Lord, for it to be used, God, for the building of your true house, the church of the living God. And so, Lord, we're, we're just grateful today. As we open up this ceremony, we are grateful and we are thankful. God, you are so good. And we bless your name. Amen. Amen.
<laughs> 24 years ago, approximately 200 people gathered on a Thursday night, May 4th, at Sharp Land Cattle Office in LaBelle. Listen to what Charlie Sharp had to say about plans to reach young people. To share the vision God gave him to build group homes for youth with a K-12 to school. Charlie's secondary goal was to help the community, as he believed this need was and continues to be a need in Lewis, Knox, and Shelby counties. While at an Ozark National Life 1995 mid-year convention held in Colorado on the 4th of July, Charlie was praying about establishing the work that God had called us when God told Charlie, church, a church needs to be established first. Charlie agreed, that's a good thing, but who would pastor the church? God told Charlie, you. With a holy fear, and in Charlie-like style, we left Colorado. And that Sunday, July 9th, we had our first church service in a shed in LaBelle built for antique tractors while we waited for the right timing to build a dedicated church building. Over the years, many have asked why our community is in Knox and Shelby County. The answer is easy, because God specifically said to build in Knox and Shelby County. And so we did. Over the years, we've experienced hard times, and we've experienced good times. We are grateful for the support of our surrounding communities, we are grateful for the support of each one of you here today. And today, we gather on a Saturday, July 6th, to celebrate God. Because he is faithful, he's holy and he's righteous, and because his love endures forever. And today, we have a dedicated church building to move into. Amen. Amen. Pastor Chris. You know, as Lori said, it was pastor's desire all along to have a dedicated sanctuary. It is so awesome to be able to stand in front of this today and to be able to open it to the public. A year ago, or more than a year ago, we stood out here and broke ground for the building. And that time I mentioned our story was a lot like King David in the temple, and David's ability to gather all the necessary resources, but God's call upon him not to build the temple, but to let the next generation do that. I believe that's where we are today. Pastor provided along the way, and we're here today to open this building. A lot's been provided, but we have a lot to do as we go forward from here. And whatever we do is going to require a large measure of the grace of God to have its full impact and for us to be able to fulfill the call of God on this house. For those of you who are here, who are local, or part of this local body, we have a call from God to be the church, to live up to what God has called us to be and to live up to what God has purposed for his church to be. We are a community that's here to help hurting people. We do that through our men's program and our women's program, through our boarding school, through our K through 12 school, through our Bible college. We're in the planning stages of looking at the possibility of open a Votech school to continue that work. But we also know that in the midst of that, for us to be able to fully fulfill what God calls us to do to not just reach the people coming into the community, but to reach our community around us, we have felt like it is right to build a sanctuary, to build a structure, to build a dedicated place, to be able to gather together with the people of God, to worship God. You know, today... We are officially opening our new building to the public. And in doing so, as a church, we're stepping into something new. 
tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, we'll have a, a fish, our first official church service in the sanctuary, a dedication service. If you're not a part of a church somewhere and you're visiting here, please feel free to come and join us tomorrow. We'd love to have you. But whether it's this day or tomorrow or the many, many, many days that lie ahead, we truly desire not just to look at a building, but to be the church that uses a structure as a tool in order to reach the lost with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So that's what we're here for today. That's what this is all about. Let's pray. Father, we again come before you. And Lord, in this ceremony, in this time, it's right to be able to just worship you, to celebrate this awesome milestone, to celebrate this day of being able to open this building to our neighbors, to our family, to our friends. And so we come before you today, God, thanking you from the bottom of our hearts for who you are, thanking you for your presence, thanking you for your power that richly dwells in our hearts and in this place. And Lord, help us above all things to keep you first and foremost in our hearts and minds and to keep the call of God on this place strong to help hurting people and to reach the communities around us and all the way across this country and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so today, God, we set ourselves here in this place to be your church. And Lord, we thank you for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we're going to get ready to cut a ribbon here in just a minute and open up this building. When we open up the building, we want to invite you all in. It's a little warm. If you're like me, I'm about to melt. Uh, it's cooler inside. We are, I will say up front, we are past the milestone of being able to occupy the building. We're not all the way done. So we've got a few more things yet to do, but we really do want to be able to let you come in. We're going to do some tours. We're going to have some uh, refreshments. There's a short video playing in the, in the sanctuary. We'd love to have you step, step in and sit down for just a short minute and watch our screen and see a short video in there. Most of all, we'd like to get to meet with you and visit with you and enjoy each other's company. So that's mostly what the day's about. So we're going to gather our dignitaries and our friends that I've asked to come up and we're going to take a picture and then we're going to cut this ribbon. How's that sound? Good? Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 